There are a lot of major updates to Town Star this month, as you can see from the Discord channel. It is harder for gameplay now, and the comments from users are hilarious. In this video, we will start from scratch to reach gasoline production from day one. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified immediately when a new video is out. Let's begin. First, we pick a location near the city. It does not need to be near a river. Our priority is near a city to not waste gasoline. We are placing our town in a forest between two mountains and near the city, Port Elizabeth. First thing is to plant wheat fields. Then we changed our depot to our Express Depot NFT. Express Depot is available when you sign up for Gala Gold. Check the link to sign up for Gala Gold below. Always remember to change to Express Depot. If not, you will not get your town coins. Next, we sell some wheat in ponds near the mountains to get enough cash to build a farmhouse, a sheep pen, a feed mill, and a trough. One sheep pen needs five water, one wood, and eight feeds. One feed needs two wheat. Next, we build a ranch house so she can tend to our sheep. We are doing this to produce wool, which gives us a lot of cash. We now lay the foundation to start our gasoline production by building roads. Then we build a lumberjack house so this dude can cut our forest to get wood for our wind turbine and oil pump. Wind turbine provides us with energy and an oil pump provides us with crude oil. All these are essential for gasoline production. To cut our expenses, we can return our express depot to save us $20 per minute when we do not need to sell any goods for the time being. Our focus is to produce wool to sell to maximize our gas. We can place the express depot back without costing anything. Next, build a warehouse to store our energy. Crude oil is stored in the fuel storage, which is already given at the start of the game. Build a worker house so we can harvest our energy and crude oil. As what the comment in Discord says. Forget everything you know because, as of this moment, we spotted these changes. Paid road now costs $30,000 instead of $10,000, and you need one lumber and three wood to build it. Feed mill needs two wheat instead of one to produce feed. One sheep pan used to have three sheeps, but now it's two sheeps. This means slower for the sheep to produce wool. Wool now sells for $37,500 instead of $45,500. There is an auto sell function. We are planning to use it only for our blue steel. Everything takes a longer time to produce now. You don't need a paved road to build a refinery anymore. We made this huge mistake building that initially. After we realized that, we canceled our paved road and built a normal road followed by the refinery. Notice how the refinery is ready, but we are not activating it yet. This is to save our permit worker wage because he costs $200 per minute. Then we build the water pumps to provide water to our refinery. Another change in the recent update is the water pumps. You now need three oak trees to build a water pump. So we planted some oak trees. Our refinery is finally ready and we will switch between petroleum and gas production. Final tips for gameplay. Tip one, sell pond for cash. Tip two, you can return your Express Depot when you do not need to sell goods to save $20 per minute. You can place it back anytime, without costing anything. Tip 3. While you need to sell Tier 1 goods like wheat and wood for cash, don't be afraid to let your wheat and wood go to waste so that you can use gasoline for Tier 2 goods like wool, because wool gives you $37,500. This is at least 12 times more than what wheat and wood can give you. 
but you will need to balance selling Tier 1 goods to not go bankrupt in selling Tier 2 goods before you achieve passive gasoline. Tip 4. Build one refinery and switch between producing petroleum and gasoline. Tip 5. Build one sheet pen first and be stable in cash flow before venturing out to produce other goods. Tip 6. Build workers, farmers, rangers' houses first, but do not click to activate them because it will cost you more wages per minute. Activate only after you are certain your production is able to cover the wages. Tip 7. Do not fret about being very tidy or building your wheat fields in perfect rows at the start. Tip 8. It is okay to remove your lumberjack house when you do not need wood for some time to save $30 per minute. We remove the house after we have 10 wood stocked up in the woodshed. Tip 9. Destroy the oak tree farms after they fulfill their purpose, which is as a building material for the water pumps. We find oak trees use too much water, and we rather have our farmers harvesting wheat instead of watering the oak trees. Tip 10. We aim for water pumps instead of a water facility, so it is passive water. On top of that, we don't need to pay the wage of $50 per minute. After a few hours of interrupted play, due to having meals and running errands. Here is our town layout with passive gasoline. We have three wheat fields, one sheep pen, two feed mills, one trough, three ranch houses, three farmhouses, one lumberjack house, one silo, one wood shed, one warehouse, one storehouse, two refineries, one oil pump, one wind turbine, one worker house, one builder house, Thank you for sticking to the end. It's a long process to get to passive gasoline after the updates. Do you have any questions? Leave a comment and we will reply to you to the best of our knowledge. Before we end this video, we would like to add that we will be using this setup to work our way up to blue steel production. Stay tuned for our blue steel update. If you find this video useful, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. It is a form of encouragement to the creators, and we thank you for that support. Please feel free to share our videos with your Town Star Gaming friends so everyone can enjoy playing this game. If you want to learn more about blockchains, NFTs, and crypto related stuff, why not check out our other videos in this channel? We have a whole list of videos for beginners to dip their toes into this interesting space. See you in our next video.